All right, everybody. Let's play a little Warcraft Rumble, shall we? I'm just leveling up my units here. I need to unlock things I don't have. Like, I don't have Frostwolf Shaman. I should just unlock a lot of this stuff. Gosh, it's loud. Feels like it's loud. I gotta lower this. Get lower. Get lower, please. All this audio, get lower. Stop flexing the iPad. I'll try. Hmm. I don't have this move. Execute. This spell. We'll hop into a game here in one sec. I don't have Wraith. Collection level ups seem pretty important. Um, you just get more, like, XP for everything you're doing. So it feels like one of the first things you should do when you start this game. And I'm, I could be wrong about this because it's my first, like, time messing with it, really. Like, I've been playing it for a week, basically. I feel like one of the first things you should do is probably try to collect a lot of the different, uh... A lot of the different things that you don't have yet. I'm in a clan. I'll show you the PvP. What what kit do I have right now? I have not played much with this. I just kind of unlocked this undead Baron Rivendare. Seems pretty good. Um, I'll try to play some PvP with it. I've not played much with it. The IGN is Spraggles, not Spraggles. Is that right? L-E-S? That can't be right. Money, money, money. Is it? It is! I don't even I don't even know how it's like that. That's so weird. I have unbound units, which kind of let me deploy anywhere, but I don't know if I can beat this abomination. I'm going to try to No, I can't beat it. It's like a level It's a really strong unit. It costs 6. It's so powerful. I could maybe take it down with these harpies. Harpies are actually like really good. I'm the wrong spelt Spraggles. No idea why. That must have been something I had to do with Battle.net at one point. We put a lot of pressure on him. We took his gold. That's pretty strong. I can mine here. I might be able to end this. No, no, no. It's too, I, got, I got too aggressive here. I can't end this. I can take this, though. And keep putting pressure on these chests. Controlling gold seems to be like the thing in this game. Whoever controls the gold seems to win the game. And the unbound units, you so you have to deploy units like back in your deploy zones, right? But unbound units you can put anywhere on the map, which is pretty legit. Like, they're very good. Abomination is so strong. Yeah, this is kind of over. If he drops anything, I can throw a spell on it, but it's done. It's done. We get there. Yeah, this is, it's like Clash Royale. It's, uh, War, it's Blizzard's version of it. Warcraft Rumble is what it's called. It's pretty fun. I've been liking it so far. I haven't gotten to, like, you know, points where it'd be like, oh, crazy pay to win or anything like that. But it looks like it gets pretty pay to win. You know, as you, as you climb the ladder. So I'll show you something. It's pretty interesting. But it looks like it gets pretty pay to win or at least you better be paying you let me get that gold they got a good combo right there it's gonna be a hard one to fight my thought is I'm gonna throw the werewolf kind of behind them so I can get Jaina here yeah we can at least fight this decently well. And I gotta use my kobolds to mine. Right now we just got skeletons attacking their base. Just 
just kind of put a little more pressure on them with a spell. I don't plan, I don't think this, you know, push is going to be the push that wins the game or anything, but... My money's doing pretty well. His base is really low. I wonder if I can just, like, land on it, basically, and just kind of... Yeah, I can basically... If I just cycle everything here, I can just win. His base was super low. Super low. What are you watching? This is uh, Warcraft Rumble. So it's not out yet in the U.S. It's out in, like, select markets. So... Um... So right here, I'm in the bronze PvP, right? But once you get out of bronze, your units are leveled. So inside of bronze, everyone's the same level. It's like exactly how you'd want the game, right? Outside of bronze, though, your unit levels are evened. They're, they're like divided by three and rounded up. So if you have way higher level units, you're going to beat your opponents. There's also a PvE section of it, so you can just like fight enemies inside of it which is pretty cool fight like computers and they're sort of set up to be hard in, in different ways it's actually a lot of fun i think the pvp stuff though could get pretty pay to win i think people would reasonably be like Ugh. Mm. how do i want to do this we gotta fight that tree This is a deck that the game gives me for this particular mission. Like, it just chooses for me. So I've got, like, a Drake in it. This is, like... Oh, this isn't Drake. This is, uh... This is, like, Baron something. What's his name? Not Baron. Um... He's a very popular hero right now, it feels like, in the game. DJ Khaled? Yeah, that's right. DJ Khaled is who that guy is. Uh, we're just crashing on him. Seems to be over. Seems to be over. Another one. Our mainline heroes in the game? Yeah. Yes. Well, it looks like we're not winning. I thought we were just going to win that. Now I gotta actually put some more thought into what I'm doing. It looked like we were just about to win. I should probably try to secure... ...that tower in the middle. We hitting him? Nice. Nice. Hey, Lucky Charms. Thanks for the sub, buddy. That's a stack. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Victory. Victory. See, it seems all like washed out when I'm looking at this. Like this, what I'm looking at here, the game looks different than this. For some reason, it's coming through all washed out and weird. Just doesn't look right. another PvE just going against the boss here what's his deal prowls the dark corners of Darkshore sure Darkshore is already pretty dark I have to assume and they're prowling it making it even darker Prowling a notoriously dark area already. I have a bold move. Rend Blackhand, I believe. What did I say before? 
Rend Blackhand, I'm pretty sure is his name. He's cool. He starts flying and then drops down once he gets hit enough. So you got like an area attack while flying. I don't know if this guy can hit air. Seems like I can just keep sending aerial units at him and we can win. I don't think he can hit air. Get some skeletons up there. Nice. Purple cat, definitely Mewtwo. Yeah, the colors are wrong. They're wrong. I don't I don't know what's wrong with it. It's like something wrong with my connection or something. I'll, I'll figure it out if I end up playing a lot more of it. It's really fun. Just got back into Pokemon Unite and everyone re re recommended your content. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad. I hope it helps. Before, like, a PvE map starts, you can kind of scroll around and see what going on with everything long distance chain lightning attacks so like a lot of like little minis are not great against this these are meeting stones uh you capture them and you can deploy within them flying units can't capture them and then these are treasure chests flying units also can't capture those but if you take it you get two gold every unit has a different cost inside of gold right so like i can put an unbound unit here and try to take this really quick Put my guy over here to mine, hopefully at some point. This guy I found to be super strong. I feel like he's really good, the Ogre Magi. I feel like I, I often run into situations where he's just like, I don't know if he's good in PvP. I can't say, because I bet he costs a lot. I think he's a five cost or something like that. But in PvE, man, he just like wipes out your waves of men so easy. It's very frustrating. Feels like one of those units that probably is very, very good and just against you, right? Yeah, it's not released in US yet. Yeah, it comes out in the US like in a couple weeks. Good thing this iPad lives in Canada. That's what I've always said about this iPad. Just happy that it lives in Canada. Yeah, November 3rd. <clears throat> Activision Blizzard, Blizzard merged into Microsoft? Uh-oh. I mean, I wouldn't be worried about Microsoft. I think they already merged in a way that uh, kind of was the, the big decider for Activision, <laughs> for Blizzard, and it was Activision. I'm not too worried about Microsoft, really. Gotta be honest. If I go towards the main quest in PvP, or PvE, excuse me, it's here. I don't think I, like, as you can see, like, they're all level 8. This is this group's level 7, this is 6, 5, 4. Um, they're really hard at this point. Like, these missions are really tough. I can't beat them. I've tried to beat it a few times. I feel like I need to level my units more for some of these. Or just have, like, a much better strategy for certain fights. But they start to get pretty tough, honestly. Like, this one starts... Um, he sends down harpies right here after this gold mine. And his harpies can mine gold. It's like one of... I'm sure it's a special trait that they have. So he takes gold really, really fast in this map. We got the ogre magi. It's just a really hard, hard group to fight. This guy's, like, gonna get me. I can't even get them with the spell, either. Like, look how much damage they do so fast. Like, almost nothing I can do about this. And they, there they go. They mine gold right away. They're just so brutal, man. My base is already getting decimated. 
We got this tower, which is pretty nice. But we're still getting ripped apart here. Even with our tower. Yeah, man. I can't... I, I don't know how to beat these missions. I'd have to, like... I'd have to actually come up with a strategy, I think, to win against some of these. They're just too tough. Or get stronger leveled units. Which is the unfortunate thing. Which is, how I think, how PvP is going to feel sometimes, you know? You're just going to be dealing with guys who are just like, yeah, he's way stronger. Like, high, way higher level. It's like the PvE is getting you ready for PvP, getting you ready for the disappointment. Look at that Ogre Magi, dude, I swear. He beats me so much. So good. Yeah. They get me. They get me. Yeah, they're the same level, but they're just like rocking us. It's a much better, they have a much better setup. Like, I don't have a setup that fights them well. And they have, not only are they the same level, but they have perks on a lot of their characters. So, your characters, once you upgrade their rarity, like, let me show you. I've got this guy, um, Tyrion Fordring. I have him upgraded to Uncommon. And that's when you can start to unlock perks. So, or these are talents, excuse me. Uh, you can pick one of them to bring into battle. And they're very strong. So, like this one, you get a magical shield at 30% health, absorbing all damage for five seconds. It's like a really strong power. And I don't have, for instance, on this guy I just had, I don't have like a perk unlocked for him yet. Talent, excuse me, unlocked for him yet. I don't have talents unlocked for basically any of my little minions either. So I think it would help out a lot if I did have talents on a lot of them. And that's like, I think just part of the game, you're just gonna be, you're gonna be playing a lot of the missions, you're gonna be grinding, you're gonna be unlocking new units, getting levels. Getting your collection level up. Like if I buy this, this gives me a plus one. Like you get three of these stars and you get an uncommon version of that unit. Feels like the first thing I want to do is kind of get a little bit of every unit. This is actually giving me an uncommon version of it right away. That's interesting. I've never really seen it do that. I guess we could get it. Harvest Golem. Activision ruined WoW. Everything went downhill after the merger and they went public on the New York Stock Exchange. I mean, yeah, Blizzard uh, Blizzard is not at all the company that they used to be. That is for sure. I mean, Blizzard was like the, be the best thing ever. Blizzard was every, like insane. So they made some of the greatest games of all time. It's kind of crazy that they are where they are now. Yeah, I feel like upgrading my collection level here is actually just super important. So I'm just going to try to upgrade and get units I don't have. Quillbor. Vultures. Drake I don't have. Drake feels like a great unit. I feel like Drake and then there's this thing um, that combos with it really well. This big golem. Like Drake golem feels like an insane combo. This is an uncommon arcane blast. I don't really know if I want to buy an uncommon arcane blast. I'm not so sure. 
Um, let's see. And then these are quests you can do. So this is another way to like upgrade your units just like with what's in your deck right now. So this is the deck I have on my main dude right now. In these three slots right here, you get plus one level. If they're in these slots, so you get alliance level, alliance level, and a tank level right here. Um, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is also... This is a tank, right? I could put him in there. Could be kind of fun. And then... I really like this guy right now. Maybe we'll put him instead of skeletons. Alright. Let's do a quest. Um... All these are pretty good units, it feels like. I'll upgrade the safe pilot. So a deck is just a collection of seven units. Yeah, it's your leader and then six units. Yeah. A sponsor? Uh, no, not a sponsor. Just a game I wanted to play, Mia. I actually was having pretty a lot of fun with Unite, but I've been wanting to play Rumble for a while here. So, With an unbound unit, you can take a waypoint like this, which feels pretty, pretty advantageous. I don't know what this guy does. Oh, it looks like he's just a siege minion. He just attacks my, my tower. Okay, good to know. Spiders. <clears throat> I could put a harvest golem here. And then I could put my guy behind it. So my guy heals. I think the Harvest Golem, if I remember right, the Harvest Golem resurrects itself after it gets KO'd. There's a unit that does that. I think it's the Harvest Golem. So it could be a cool combination having him with my healer like this. The safe pilot also just lets you land wherever you want, basically, which is nuts. Unbound units are kind of crazy. They feel pretty cheap, honestly. Like this Worgen, I land wherever I want and I start stealth, so I always get the first attack. It's just a really powerful. What happened here? We got beat by something. Something beat us. Maybe spiders. I don't have good range on this deck, I feel like. I've got the the troll guy. Is this PvP or PvE? It's both. Right now I'm playing a PvE map to gain more levels for my characters, but it's both. Blizzard's an insane spell. Feels like kind of one of the like best spells in the game. It costs a lot. It costs four. Four's a lot, but Blizzard feels pretty legit. So after completing a quest like that, you get experience for a unit that you just brought into battle at random. Um, and then you also get like the one you picked is like 51. It's going to level up my pilot to level eight. And the levels feel, again, extremely important. And if you keep questing, you can get some experience. You get less and less as you go. Um, I'd kind of like to increase my worgen, I think, because I think this unit's really good. This Pokemon unit updates wild. It's crazy. They really changed it up. Oh, okay. This has like doubled units. See if I can steal that chest. Mm, maybe not. They showed up. They get it. Bummer. I'll try to cast Blizzard right here, but these guys are really strong. I don't know if this will even work. I need to get some gold. Harpies could help me here. Harpies are legit good against, like, so many units, but especially these ground tanks. Harpies move so fast. They do so much damage. They feel, honestly, like, they feel like one of the more powerful units in the game. Like, they, they feel, to use an overused term, they feel pretty OP, I gotta say. There are some things that are good against them, but in general, they just feel like, dang, they're good.
Gotta try to take this other tower. The exchange is so good, too. Like, I'm ripping apart a six gold cost unit for three. Like, that's so good. This is another good unit that I don't have yet. It's Huntress. Huntress is like, feels really good. Her glaive bounces like to multiple targets. So it feels very, very good. I, I do like that while the game heavily takes aspects of Clash Royale, tries to make itself unique. Yeah, it does do some some things that feel very separate, right? Especially a lot of the PvE stuff. Feels like it's trying to be its own thing, you know, more than some games maybe would. But also, of course, you know, they're the... They're basically the copycat in the market, right? So they have to do unique things. They can't be, like make the same game. And be like, what do you think? How would you compare this to Clash Royale? I think Clash... The thing that I wonder about this game is... I wonder if... This game feels more complex than Clash in some ways. And I wonder if that's going to be... Like harder for broad audiences to like pick up and want to play. We're going to have to see. Used to love Clash. Nice. I liked Clash a lot. I thought it was super fun. We've got a Jaina deck. I feel like I don't go up against a lot of Jainas. They also have a Harvest Golem. Okay. How do I want to fight this? Got a lot walking over here. They're also using a blizzard spell on me. And a safe pilot. I think I'm gonna wanna fight this kinda like this. If this all kind of comes together here, I can use a nice blizzard and get some real value. They're doing the same thing. Oh, I just missed the safe pilot. I, I aimed that wrong. That's on me. Mistakes were made. They're mining better than I am. I think I think they're gonna end up pushing me and beating me here. Their spells are really strong with Jaina. And they're taking the gold in the center, so I think they're gonna win this fight. Kind of stealing their gold right there. Hmm. Little break from Unite, a little bit.
Oof, my werewolf did not walk back and fight. I thought my werewolf was going to walk back and fight. That's unfortunate. He just kind of walked forward, which I didn't expect or fully understand. So I used him to try to get to Jaina right there, and it didn't work. Oh, well. Not great. He should just, yeah, get to her. That's what I'm looking for, obviously. He used his blizzard a little early. Which might give me an advantage here. Oh, he's at my base already. Oh, he might just get me. Mm, close. Maybe I'll get him? It's gonna be close. Ooh, we pulled it out right in the end. A sneaky little one. We got sneaky there. We got lucky. We snuck it in. A sneaky victory. We were on, I felt like we were on the back foot all game there. We were just getting beat all game. Mm. I kind of like to play with this deck a little bit more. The undead has been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. We're against a horde deck. Oh, they got a lot of chickens. Except the chain lightning, that whole thing. That guy's pretty cool. He, like, charges you. Pretty strong, too. Don't have a ton of anti-air units. We're on his base. Wonder if he's gonna summon chickens. He might not have them. I think if the eggs pop out, we just shock them and win. Yeah. Nice! I care not for your chickens. I don't care about your chickens, friend. I do like the undead a lot. They seem very fun. It's weird, in Warcraft, I'm a big Horde fan. I love Horde. But in this, I'm like an undead. <laughs> mm, can't get to it. Oh, that guy possesses. Oh no, he took my unit. This is not going well. The Possess as a unit character seems very good. Because you could take a real high cost unit from your opponents. Mm. 
That was a good gold swing for us, that's for sure. Huge gold swings, dude. This is a really interesting leader, the one that roots people in place. Loctar Goat. Loctar Goat! It's like I always say, chat. Loctar Goat. I think you should just leave it Loctar Goat. Thanks for hanging, Clone Wars nerd. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Just gonna rumble for a bit more. A little Warcraft rumble for a bit more. I could try out another deck, show you guys something else. Oh, this is an interesting deck, and I have not played enough with this. So this character is all about unbound units. Um, it feels like a, a pretty high skill character to play. If you play an unbound unit with this character in your hand, so those are the units you can place anywhere on the battlefield, it lowers the cost of placing this unit, this leader, which is also an unbound unit. Um, and it's uh, it feels like it could be pretty wild if you know how to play with it. And I don't. So, there's that. He's in my hand right now. You can see his cost like is gonna keep going down with more the more units that I pick up. This is just like a double KO. We've got someone coming to base that is an air unit. Um, it's really hard to deal with. really strong. I just don't have anything to even stop him. He's just gonna rip my base apart. Yeah, I need Wyverns in this deck, I think. Or what? not Wyverns, what are they called? The little guys. Can you modify decks? Yeah, you can put anything in them you want. Um, are they called Wyverns? Thank you, Brenna, by the way. Thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. I need these guys. What are they called? Harpies, I'm an idiot, Harpies. Harpies would be pretty good in this deck, especially just swapping them for this, I think be more useful. I might even just like pull Blizzard out. Blizzard just might be too high cost for what I need and then just throw in something that can hit other things. Like just something cheap. These aren't unbound, are they? Stealthy, stun, no. Let's try that. Let's try that. And I don't know the best way to even use this leader, to be honest. Like, once I get him cheap, that's awesome. But I'm like, what do I use him for, you know? I don't actually know. Hey, Spruggles, just watched your new video and was shocked to see my exact build as an Absol main. Oh, nice! Well, there you go. Great minds. That's all ground. Do I KO this? I do, okay. I could try to just ri rush the boss right here. I don't know if it would work. He let me get near him. Jeez, I almost got him. I like, almost finished the game right there. I think that's a little bit of how you're supposed to play this deck.
Like once you get here. Well, that worked pretty well. Jeez. I think I got lucky there. I think he just didn't have a lot to counter the harpies and he was in trouble. Like right off the bat. I think that was like a pretty fortunate start for that deck. And I think you'll probably run into a lot of those with a deck like that. You're just like, either you you just rock them right away, or they rock you, right? Sharp face. From the clan casual. Filthy casual. He's just building up gold, I think. Yeah, he is. Blows up my eggs, but like we could still use our stuff. It was a good blizzard. Eats all my dudes. Coming from different angles now. Nice! Did you misspell your name or was that deliberate? I don't even know how my name is like that. I have no idea. This is like my battle.net account. And apparently, maybe at one point, the other one was taken or I lost the other one. And now this is what it is. Yeah. If one of my opponents spawns a Mewtwo Y, we're done here. We're done. Spraggles was taken. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how it's that. I have no idea. I think I probably made a battle net a long time ago. And then somehow this is my new thing. LES. No clue. No clue. Mm, I don't have any good way to start. I guess we'll start with this. Oh. They tried to do the same thing I did. Theirs worked out a little bit better, I think. Pushing onto his base pretty good. Especially with Harpies. We might get him right here. Yeah. This deck's fun. Spraggles villains. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. If I could change it, I would. But you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. I need a different identity for a different game, everybody. A different identity for a different game. This is a really fun deck. It feels like when it goes poorly, it goes really poorly. 
<laughs> but when it goes all right, it goes all right. So, but when it's poor, ooh, ooh, not so great. Not so great. Chickens. Oh, I missed. Goodbye. We missed. We aimed our shot really poorly, and the chickens ate us. He's got these. Goblin sappers. I think we missed again, didn't we? Oh no, we got him. This guy's strong. Oh my gosh, he's ripping us apart. Well, that didn't work. good i like this deck it's like i feel like i'm i'm just cheesing these fights is this like starcraft no it's more like uh clash royale it's like clash royale but warcraft clash royale but we're cheesing super hard you guys this deck is full cheese all the way but being able to deploy anywhere is pretty huge you know Maybe he does. I think he outranges me. Yeah. He outranges me. I'm just gonna have to put this guy down. Oh, who's hitting my base? You, you, you sneaky little jerk. You're hitting my base. Sneaky boy. He's a very sneaky boy. And he's damaging my base, yeah. Guy turns invisible a lot. Being invisible a lot seems pretty good. They might get my base right here, but I'm like, I'm hurting his base pretty good too. Feels like we're both kind of close to a base rush.
Yeah, he's hitting mine. I'm hitting his. Oh, we got him! We got him! Yeah, isn't that funny? It's not like StarCraft Primal Zerg appears on screen. I was just thinking that, too. It's not like StarCraft at all. Uh, it's not like Warcraft either, but there's Zerg and Protoss and uh, Warcraft. Dude, if they put Protoss in this game, I, I know that they, they won't, but if they did, I would happily only play Protoss. I'm such a Protoss fan. Such a little Protoss fan. But that's like a basic look, everybody. It just kind of... Uh, Warcraft Rumble that I've been playing a decent amount lately. I'm in a little guild. I don't know anybody in the guild, but we're we're climbing up the guild. We're getting all our stuff done. We're unlocking units. I've been liking it a lot. So, my wife for hire. My life for hire. All right, everybody. Uh, I think that's going to do it for the stream and for this little bit of Warcraft Rumble.